hello. What could you tell me what role pelvic floor physiotherapy uh, therapists play in managing and treating conditions? Um, we think of urinary incontinence because we always go to the incontinence clinic. And in Nottingham, where I work, we have a self-referral to the incontinence clinic. And um, when I say to patients who have some pelvic pain, you can refer yourself to the incontinence clinic. They'll say, well, I'm not incontinent. So um, I think that's important to just mention that. But um, could you tell me how you can treat uh, these conditions, particularly pelvic pain and pelvic organ prolapse? Absolutely. So um, pelvic floor um, assessment would be part of that. Um, so what what we would do first and foremost would we'd get a really good history of the patient and their symptoms and and then I would give lots of information about that so um, I'd be looking at somebody's um, sort of bladder health and bowel health making sure that we've covered everything from hydration good diet including fiber and avoiding constipation because all of those things play a huge part in incontinence pelvic organ prolapse um, and pelvic pain often we need to know about somebody's history because there might be a lot that feeds into that that actually we can talk about and we can work on and um, that's not just about our pelvic floor it might include other parts of the body other muscles um, we might be sort of looking at other exercises to add on um, and then we would assess to see what pelvic floor was doing. What we found there would then depend on what the treatment would be, whether it would be pelvic floor strengthening, whether it would be pelvic floor kind of relaxation, stretches, mindfulness, um, and, you know, going down that road. And if we feel that some of it is linked to, um, you know, kind of lack of estrogen or it might be because obviously, you know, um, they are menopausal. If that's something that they've not already addressed or have spoken to somebody about and the first person they've come to see is, you know, a, a pelvic health physio, then, you know, we would be advising them to go and speak to a doctor that would be able to look more hormonally at what was going on for them. OK, thank you. And I think the other thing is you can might often pick up a psychosexual problem when you are examining your patient, particularly the patients that present with pelvic pain. And I think that's something that we almost always must have.